Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, the failure situations of arithmetic mean as a central tendency value. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about what central tendency means and we have done some examples how to calculate the arithmetic mean. So please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So before going into the failure of arithmetic mean as a central tendency, first we will understand in which situations it is good to apply. Then we will go into the failure. So arithmetic mean works well if there is an additive relationship between numbers. With example, we will have better understanding. So let's take an example 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19. If you take these numbers, we are having additive relationship between these numbers. 1, 4, 1 plus 3, 4 plus 3, 7 plus 3. So we are adding, uh, keeps on adding three value for all those numbers. If you calculate the mean value, x bar is equal to, we got the mean is equal to 10. So it is giving the central tendency value, central value. So uh, half of them are left and half of them are right. Uh, yes, it works fine if the, if the data consists of additive relationship between the numbers. But this is not the case if you are having a, if that it will fail if we have multiplicative or exponential relationship between numbers let's take an example if you take this uh, 1 3 9 27 81 243 7 29 3 4 0 3 4 1 uh, no it's multiplicative 1 multiplied by 3 th multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 and uh, 81 so on this is the value if you calculate the mean uh, x bar is equal to we got 156.1 means it's somewhere around here the mean value see here it is not going to identify the central value the mean value is moving the uh, moving towards the large numbers because uh, because in the mean we are going to do addition so these large values are impacting much on moving our mean value towards them that's why in this case it won't work it is not identifying the central tendency value central value so in this type of situations we are not good to use arithmetic mean calculation in order to identify the central tendency value so this is the point you have to understand and one more thing is in your data if you are having outlying points we call them as outliers first we will understand what outliers means with an example employee salaries are taken so these are taken in 30k means 30,000 per month or one year if you take it as 30k per year 30,000, 32,000, 35,000, 45,000, 38,000, 42, 43,000 if you add along with the salaries if you add the CEO salary CEO is having 250k per one year see here this data is very much away from all these data points this is what we call it as outlying point most of the data points are somewhere around here only few data points are somewhere around here means these are the outlying points the same way most of the salaries are around 30 to 40 thousand only one salary is around 250k thousand 250,000 in this type of situations this big value will affect the mean it will always try to pull the mean value towards the big value because we are doing addition and divided by number of values. Uh, that's why our mean value has got as a, we got it as a 64.3.75. It's somewhere around here. We did not get the central value. So we are moving towards the this large value. In this type of situations, arithmetic mean is not good for uh, applying uh, to identify the central tendency. Next, coming to that, uh, if we use different units, uh, you should not use different units. Uh, let's take an example, heights of students. If you take the heights of students, few values are in feet and inches, few values are considered in centimeters. You should not consider like this. All of them should be considered in the same units. Then only it will work. 5.5, 5.6, 5.8, 6.0. 6, these are taken in feet and inches. 145, 153, 180, 182. These are taken in inches. These are taken in centimeters. If you take them in centimeters, if you take them in inches, feet and inches. See, if you calculate the mean, the mean will come somewhere around here. 
these big values are affecting the mean it is always trying to pull the mean value towards the these big values that's why in this type of situations we are not supposed to use arithmetic mean you have to convert this in uh, foot into the in centimeters or convert this into the inches then we have to apply arithmetic mean for different uh, values different uh, units we are not supposed to apply arithmetic means hope you understand these are the these are the failure situations where you are not supposed to apply the central tendency as an arithmetic mean hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you